shirt. And, and flip flops. I don't know if he usually wears flip flops, but I, it's like almost mandatory in Florida. Almost. Yeah. It's too hot for him to handle. Disco gets a free 9% because uh, uh, Hbox went to put his phone on the table. Ooh, that pound is really important because if you up angle pound around the, t the top of Icy's head as he gets a wobble, mm. if, if you angle the pound up around the top of Icy's head, they can't shield grab it. And if you hit it, uh, if you hit it so the, the hitbox sends them to the left right. and you're going to the right or vice versa, uh -huh. it's, it's safe on shield. Okay. So that's that's one thing that Puff does to open up Icy's a lot. You're, you're probably going to see it a lot from Hungrybox. Oh, man, it's hot. In the middle of the grab. And that, and Nana only taunts uh, after you take a stock, or like right, right there. Mm -hmm. It's like Hbox was coming down from the Angel platform, so Nana just like she wants to BM a little bit. She knows we're in for. Uh, She's what, programmed. <laughs> she knows we're in for the long haul. Yeah. He wants to tilt Hbox. That before. mental damage. Oh, almost gets the. Yeah. He had the grab opportunity. Yeah. This yeah. is just sharking for the grab right now. Yeah. Uh, I think that was wrong direction by accident. But oh, you got you got to hit the text. That's that's really important in this matchup because. Uh, Puff's tech roll is really slow compared to other characters. So Hbox, uh, so uh, this kid can wave dash grab pretty reliably if he's uh, reacting well enough. Mm -hmm. All right, Nana out of the picture. One thing that uh, Hbox does in this matchup that I appreciate a lot is in neutral, you don't see the greatest amount of full hops from him unless they have a purpose because Ices is really good at sharking under you with the up smash, with the grab, with the up air. So you don't see him go too high up there. So you see him stay at either on a platform or around the level that Ices are like can't get to very easily, right? right. And in between socks, not much to not much for either character to do really. Well, Puff can, Puff can make a couple reads, but it's it's a lot harder for for Ices to open up Puff in between socks and vice versa. So normally you're not going to see much. Okay. As we get another wobble. Yeah, I think that's going to close this stock out. I still feel like Disco's wobbles are slow. After getting wobbled by Flipsy, I feel like his are faster. But obviously, you're just getting the job done. So yeah. Whatever, whatever speed's good for you. I mean, maybe as long as maybe not... he's playing for the timeout. Oh, maybe. That's the long con. As long as he's as not. Uh... He goes up two, three yeah. stocks to one. Okay. Hungerbox smiling a little bit. He's like, God, why? Did, how, how did my life turn out? End up here. How we get here? See the pain of that thousand years in his eyes. Now, while I feel like wobbling was very specifically designed to do as much mental damage as possible, yeah. Because you're, it's not just an instant uninteractive kill; it's a long and suffering-inducing, yeah, in uninteractive kill. So there's absolutely nothing you can do while you're sitting there getting wobbled for half a minute. Yeah. And this kid's playing for the timeout, so he's doing it even slower. Ah, that's what you're supposed to do. Nana is invincible on the way up from the belay. So you have to wait for her to, to start descending. That was a good tech by Disco. But I don't see... Unless he just plays like absolutely perfectly, I don't see him. Yeah, it's gonna be I, rough. This is it's a long road. Because you can't exactly rest Popo, because then they come back and wobble you. Like other characters. And rest would be off the table in most matchups by now anyway. Yeah. I mean... Uh, and you can't, even rest, a wobble, you can't like... even rest Nana. Because Nana... Because Popo just kills him. Yeah. Generally, in this matchup, you want to rest Nana. Uh-oh, okay. Oh. Uh, now we got something going. Generally, it's in this like... matchup, you want to rest Nana as long as Popo can't kill you. Because uh, because if you rest Popo, they come back and wobble you. Yeah. But if you uh, but if you rest Nana, you uh, you only get punished by Sopo. But Hbox he's bringing it back. within 70% yeah. now. And you just remembered that he's a... He's really good. <laughs> One of the best oh. players in the world. That's going to be it. Okay, Juan clutching it out. Wow. I mean, uh, as soon as I countered him out, yeah, there we go. I should play like that. There goes another, another hunger box pop off. You see him like put his hand up and just like stare at the yeah. screen. Like I can't believe I just did that. I mean, I, he knows it. He's he's been there before. He's... All right, so that's got to be uh, heartbreaking for Diz. Be three uh, three <laughs> up three stocks to one on the second slash first best currently player in the world. And uh, and then lose. So we're going to game two on Final Destination. No platforms, just yeah. This is just generally Ice's best counter pick, quote unquote melee. True. Oh, yeah. there goes Nana. You do you do want to save Nana at pretty much all costs if you're Diskid. 
because this is rough, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, this this is this is yeah. He, he can up smash there on that no di, but uh, he I think he was expecting H boxes to hold away. Mm. Oh, spot out the time. Now, if he gets pumped up to like the 70, 75, 80 ish percent range, one bad di will do it. But it's that's way easier said than done. The Sunger Box can just do this. Oh. And it, it's a lot easier to space aerials on Isis' shield compared to other characters because they they uh, get pushed back so so far from yeah. the shield. So you can see HBox doing like fair or up air on shield, and then it's completely safe versus the shield grab because they, Isis get pushed back so far. Right. Okay, well, there goes the first stock, minute and a half. Um, at this rate, we will finish before the timeout. So if we keep up this pace, we won't uh, I always we won't think lose about that. Between stocks, when I play an ICs, I'm just like, is this going to timeout? Should I start playing for the timeout? Yeah. I've actually never timed out in tournaments. I, I haven't either. Yeah. I'm a Falco player, so if my matches take over a minute, then I'm doing something wrong. Doing something wrong. Either, e either direction. You're either not killing them fast enough or not dying fast enough. Exactly. So, I think uh, we might need to tell him box. Like, he realizes that he has to, that he can, like, hit disc hit, right? We got a stream to entertain. He, he, he knows that uh, he can just, like, do stuff. This is, this is how you're supposed to play, like I said. Maybe I should text him. <laughs> Juan, go in, please. His phone is, like, right in front of him on the table. Oh, we could do that. We could just, yeah. Make sure his ringer's all the way up. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like HBox saw the clock as soon as we started talking about it, and now, uh, oh. Yeah, it's all our fault. We killed this I set. I think back air in the other direction would have killed, but. I don't I don't know anything anymore. There you go. Slowly, <laughs> slow, slowly losing sanity. Slowly degenerating into yeah. Puff versus Icy's. Up smash? No. I'm really, I'm really sad that this is the first set I'm commentating because I just got done losing in Puff versus Ices. <laughs> oh, just like pouring salt in the wound. Oh no. <laughs> that sucks. I'm and laughing, but I'm. And it's not like it's not just pain. like quickly pouring salt. It's yeah. Pouring salt Agonizing. for 25 minutes. At least the Puff is winning, so I can feel slightly better about. Oh, myself. that force smash was a good oh. idea. Hold shield for a little too long there, the nail shield, near shield pokes. Okay, Diz gets in, um, but what kind of life is it really? Like, he, he finally gets back and now he's, he's at 174. And he's all alone. Okay, I think you get a grab there. Up air? Okay. Maybe not up air. He went for it, but probably back air in that situation. Oh, we can't do that. All right. All right, Diz take, draws his first stock after four minutes. At this pace, we are definitely timing out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that up air trying to get Hunger Box coming oh. in. Into down there. Oh, I like Tries that. Tries to re-grab. Is that and it? Okay, goes for the re-grab. Oh. Those are the handoffs. There he we was go. Practicing he was practicing. Shout out to the the level Sh four computer Jigglypuff. That's that's all you, baby, right there. That's why you practice, guys. Do so you hit your wobbles when they count in tournaments? Yep. The the handoff timing on Puff is actually kind of weird. It's the because she's one of the lighter characters in the game, yeah. so it's like it's a lot faster than most Icy players are used to. Okay. And since she's like floaty and light, she goes like away from Icy's a lot faster than other characters, so it's one of the tighter timings. Okay. But this hit professional, expected yeah, to hit that. He was, he was practicing. He just making sure game. he got it. Yep, uh oh. Being on your game isn't enough to beat the best player in the world. Yeah. So, Nana, tragic. Rest in pieces.
I'm trying to think of what uh, Diz Kid did earlier to get out of this situation, but it seems like it was hours ago, so I can't even remember. Pretty much, yeah. We are at the t almost the two minute mark. Yeah, he just does the ledge jump over and over, and then when Diz Kid tries to interact with him, he gets punished. Yeah. Do you want to play the game? Shame on you. <laughs> Oh, let's him back. Uh -oh. You know what he's doing? He's making his life last longer. So that he doesn't have mana for as long. Yeah. See, he could forward smash there. But he's making the edge guard last longer. So Dish gets to just kill himself. Yeah, that's true. Especially at 167. Like, what are you going to... He's not getting anything done. You're going to accomplish when you get back. Yeah. That's actually genius. I'm still in there. But then I'm going to drop the edge guard because I'm not good as Hungry Box. Yeah. Oh, Ice Block damage. Okay. I feel like if you could pick one player whose landing would be the most difficult to shark, Hungry Box would probably be very far up there. Yeah. So he spent a lot of time in the air. He knows how to get back how, down. How good is FD really when his landing is just un unsharkable? You never know. Yeah. Well, we're down to 45 seconds unless he... I don't even think if he gets the kill right here, if HBox waits out his time on the Angel platform, I don't even think a wobble would kill him fast enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's it. We are done, see boys. There's the forward smash. Okay. He could have done that in four minutes. <laughs> he could have. But I think uh, I think what it really comes down to is Hungerbox is all about the Team Liquid brand. So the longer he's on stream, yeah, the Maxi longer maximizing the amount of time people exactly. can see that, and then go buy Liquid apparel. Exactly. People just get that. The liquid in their jerseys brain. do look nice. Yeah. So now we're back. Uh, game number three on <laughs> Final Destination. Diz still struggling, but he's he's staying focused, which is which which you want. Like it, he he wants to win this game still. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Diz is the give up kind of player. He's not. See even when even when Nana dies he's, he's still in there. Yeah. Still leaned in. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the the posture of a very uh, yeah. in there melee player. See that the real back and then the mashing side B with your index finger. Yeah, I like that. He's he's a sincere person. He's, like a, he, he's a competitor. He's genuine. Yeah. We're gonna see a, lo a lot more turning winner and a lot more double jump backer. There it is. Hey. Double yeah. jump backer. Double jump backer. Turning winner. Turning winner. It's coming. There you go. Oh, he, go, he goes in. Yeah, I think the, he caught the, Dizkid off guard. The there. few interactions that HBox engineers, he just wins them. Yeah. Because he, he kind of like lulls, he's like a snake charmer. He like lulls oh. you into that rhythm and then he just goes oh, in. You're like, jump. oh, wait, wait a second. No jump. Nana missed the attack. A little dangerous. I feel like HBox just killed Nana there, no? But Dizkid was, was in the way. He didn't get a proper separation. Right. Shouts to all the fans of uh, Jigglypuff. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say of Ice Climbers Wave Dash sound because we're hearing it a lot. Sure. All right. There's the Ford Smash on Nanners. Okay. He tries to he wave dashes onto the to the edge to try to get Hungry Boxes to go off. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was nice. Such a struggle for Sobo. Oh, that yeah. chill pokes. It's just the icing on the on the cake. And then he's not gonna forward smash to make the edge guard last longer. Yeah, Diskid is is 
probably just as culpable by Squall hammering back. I, I figured this Hungry Box guy out. He probably, uh, Hungry Box probably knows that, and he's probably just, he's like, as long as you're gonna keep recovering, I'm gonna keep hitting you softly. Oh. Weak fair. And then he misses the one. <laughs> that's so funny. Maybe that's why he doesn't forward smash, because he's afraid of missing it. Alright. This is a uh, pretty simple cleanup if he wants to. Unless he wants to. Uh... Oh, makes it back. Ice's tournament winner is not as good as Puff's tournament winner. Yeah, it's not even not even close. All right, three and a half minutes burned off this clock, and off our lives that we'll never get back. Okay, goes in with a pound. There's some action. Who tries to approach with Squall Hammer? Or at least there's. There's something happening. Oh. More, more tournament winner. What does Izzy's realistically do about that tournament winner? I have no clue. Uh, wave dash. You can't wait that sh that far off stage. Uh, oh, that and the throw. forward throw has the hurt box on Puff that hits the other climber. He's a genius. Yeah, that was nice. Stock away. Get him hungry box 3 0ing him. Diskid not giving up. You know, if Diskid got a sponsor, the amount of stream time he'd get? Yeah. All his matches go on forever. His, uh. Well, not all of them. If he plays like a box. True. Yeah. yeah. But that could be it. Oh, I thought it might get arrested. Nearing the end. Oh, is that okay? Oh, alrighty. We just made this interesting. This is what we call in South Florida the Hungry Pigeon comeback. <laughs> Shout outs to Hungry Pigeon. Because if you. So the Hungry Pigeon comeback is when you're at one stock and they're at three stock high percent. You okay. kill them and then you take the next stock without taking too much damage and then you clutch out the last stock. Okay, alright. So this kid is uh, in the Hungry Pigeon comeback territory. Banana is definitely not. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice text it. <laughs> All right. I feel like he can. Book. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what you're supposed to do. I, Ices can't do that much, a lot about the nair because if, since Ices is like want to wave dash in, they wave dash right into the nair and just die. Yeah. And. All right. That that's it. Set. That's what we call grueling. <laughs> Everyone is spared from their eternal torment.